How many seasons have you guys done? This is my seventh season. My sixth. I believe this is 122. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe 123. So guys, this is my first season. I want to know everything. What is something that you weren't expecting that you found out from being on The Voice? Like, oh, the blinds are the hardest part. Or, oh, the battles, like some, sometimes people sneak up on you. I think the blinds are really fun. Oh, yeah! Come on! You're the kind of artist that can win The Voice. Get the mute button ready. You'll start to, like, calibrate what you like. So you start out like, am I being too picky? Am yeah. I being too easy on people? Yeah. And then you'll figure out what your zone is. But then you think you know the artist, right. and then they'll go to battles and you have no idea. For oh, me, wow, most of yeah. the time, they're more talented than you think. A lot of times it's about the right song, it's about yeah, the right yeah, combination, yeah. the right context. And I, I would like to think we're good coaches too, so we actually help them get better too. Right. I think they get better from coaching too because I feel like they ha it's actually a coach in the sense that they get the confidence. That's my favorite part about the show is to watch them grow. Like yeah. that, and that you had anything to do with it at all, even if it was just like helping them have confidence. Yeah. It's, it's pretty awesome. And like look at themselves differently. Look yeah. at themselves yeah. like, oh, yeah. I, you know, they believe in me, I believe in me. I really, really believe in you and I really, really want you on my team. So what do you guys love about being on the show? You're always happy when it gets to the lives and it's out of your hands at that point. The hardest part is definitely sending people home because you went That's through all of that part. to get them on your team. I have no doubt in my mind that I would be a great coach for you. No, Don! Don, no! <laughs> and when we turn for them, we don't know any of their backstories either, mm -hmm. so there's so much we don't know about them. Mm -hmm. And then once you start to get to know them and you know about their families and, and yeah. what obstacles they've overcome to, to be on the show. Just the concept of the show is the power exchange because first of all, you're the star and yeah. then they're there to kind of be chosen, right? Mm -hmm. But then immediately they get the power right there mm -hmm. again. This is way harder. This is way harder than you thought? <laughs> mm -hmm. And it just keeps going back and forth, this power True. thing between. Yeah, that's um, And then also they're, they're gaining their own fans instantly like that they mm -hmm. never had right then I had no idea when I came to the show how complex emotionally it's yeah, pretty yeah. cool I think that's why people love the show so much how do you pick your advisors when you get to battles I made a great decision last Yo, yeah time. last you time did. I picked an advisor wow. oh, God, only legendary <laughs> behavior <laughs> I picked a superstar no, 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 no. who I knew would be a great coach, and look what happened. Day. I sealed my own demise by picking no, you my new <laughs> opponent. You got me this game. <laughs> I'm wondering, is it somebody that you're like, oh, is somebody that I like and I listen to their music and I like respect their craft, but also how can you judge whether like you like this person and I think they would give good advice? Like how can you even tell? Part of it, honestly, you're like, well, will they mean something to the public? Will they right, mean something right, to our right. artists? Uh, will our artists get excited? Will the public get excited? Yeah. And so a lot of it is that. Is that. I think for me, I, at, at some point, I ran out of influences. <laughs> You've been uh, on this show yeah, 53 then, times. And then I ran out of just friends that were <laughs> artists. And so I started just swinging for the fence at one point. I remember at one point, one of the producers of the show came and asked who I wanted. And I remember saying, get Cher. And they got Cher. No. Yeah. Yeah. And, got, and then the next season, I, I swung again, and I got Bette Midler. Those are all so sick. I'm killing it. Come on, buddy. Blake's trying to tell you that he's the goat of the voice. <laughs> Your team mascot doesn't even want to be here. Have you ever advised people to not check social media? It's hard because you want them to engage because that's how they gain fans. That's how right, they that's true. Um, cultivate their fan base is right. by engaging. But you can start to see what we see all the time. Mm -hmm. We all see it yeah. is negativity online too. And people feel empowered to be negative, especially um, because of anonymity. I remember checking my Twitter, like one person called me annoying. Then for every interview I did, it was like, oh my God, she's so annoying. And, yeah. and I was like, okay, I'm never checking it again. And I literally have never checked. I'm sorry I wrote that. <laughs> the first time I've ever seen you changed her life. Yeah. And the account was actually, it was Blake Shelton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 64. Blake can be That's a bully. Weird. Blake, Blake yeah. can be a bully. It's okay, I forgive you. <laughs> 
in No Doubt. We used to have to, like, we got our <laughs> own, like, P.O. box at the mill, like, the, the post office, mm -hmm. and we'd drive down, oh my gosh, let's go get our fan, fan mail. mail. And we would, like, drive down there and open a thing and pull it out and read them, and then they would all be so nice, and then you'd get that one. No. And then it would, like, be the subject of the next two weeks of our, like, conversation to right. the van, like, can you believe in it? It would be the joke, the ongoing joke, they called us, whatever, and, and if you wanted to, you could just write them back. Okay, so what do you guys think is the number one thing that you need to be a good coach? I think you have to love music. You still have to have, like, inspiration and joy in music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this show helps me keep that going. It's a lot of creativity. Yeah, because I, think, yeah. I feel like you meet all these young artists that are hungry and, like, really yeah. want to make it in our business that we've been in for a long time. Yeah. And it, like, renews my inspiration. Me too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know I still love you. I think the willingness to be real with those mm -hmm. contestants or artists on your team mm -hmm. because it's real easy to just play to the camera and say what you think is good for the show, but it's it's yeah, hard yeah, to yeah. look at someone in the eye and, and, and say, man, I'm just telling you right now, you know, whatever the bad news is, like, you know what I mean, Not and not worry about coming across how you're going to come across on TV. This is gonna be a really fun season. We're excited. We're excited. I'm really excited. You. You're so cute, you're so smart, you're witty, you're really good at beating up Blake and... Funny. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> this is so fun. Go team. Go team. I mean, yes. not really, but for now. Go team, Yay! Yay! Go team, we love. <laughs> That's the first time somebody sang one of my songs in the blind, so that was really, really cool. How cool is that? That was also the first time Blake has heard any of my songs. <laughs> <laughs> I, looked, I looked over and I was like, he knows every word of this song. I go, I said, do you know this song? She goes, it's my song. I was just happy he wasn't like, this song sucks, right? <laughs>